Satellite images show the destruction at the Azovstal steel factory. This area of the city of Mariupol has been the target of a Russian siege for weeks. Several hundred Ukrainian soldiers and civilians have been sheltering in tunnels underneath the plant as Vladimir Putin's forces advance. On Saturday, the Azov battalion, which is defending the site, claimed a pre-agreed ceasefire had held. We transferred 20 civilians rescued from the rubble to the agreed location. These are women and children. We hope that these people will go in the agreed direction, namely to the city of Zaporizhia, to territory controlled by Ukraine. The Azov regiment, which is known for having links to the far right, says it had been clearing the debris of overnight shelling by Russia to rescue trapped civilians. However, Russian forces accuse Ukrainian soldiers of holding civilians hostage at the plant. In Kiev, relatives of the fighters holed up in the steelworks rallied on Saturday, calling for the evacuation of their loved ones. My father, my husband and his brother, my sister's husband, are in Mariupol. They're from the Azov regiment. They're in Azovstol. They're blocked there. I know their food is running out. They don't have medicine. They're injured. Vladimir Zelensky warned it would spell the end of peace talks if Mariupol's defending troops were killed.